Hello YouTube gardeners. Well, it has been freezing lately. Literally freezing. Last night's low temp was 26 and tonight's is going to be 32. So needless to say, I have the frost cloths out, have my plumerias covered and my bananas and my potatoes, some fruit trees. And I also have these little makeshift greenhouses over my artichokes. And today I am going to be planting a couple more artichokes plants from seed. I was going through the seed catalog and I came across these really beautiful violet artichokes. And even though we have quite a few already growing on the property, I just have to grow these super colorful, beautiful artichokes. And they won't go to waste because we love artichokes. So they'll all get eaten. But I'm going to have to leave it at that though. I think we have about eight growing right now. So I'll add a couple more of these violet artichokes and then I'll leave it at just 10 plants growing. So what I'm gonna do is get the artichoke seeds planted and what I have found in the past is artichoke roots don't like to be disturbed. So I'm going to plant three seeds per start container. And if all three of the seeds take, then when I go to plant them in the ground, I'm not going to separate them. I'm going to put them all together and just cut out the weaker ones. I'll leave the strongest plant. And that has, um, in my experience, been very successful when I've tried separating them, the plants didn't do well at all. All right, so since I'm just starting seeds today, I will attach my previous video that is um, me planting the actual plant in the ground and it goes over the planting and growing requirements for your artichokes. All right, ready to get started. Under this first frost cloth is a young plumeria. It's about a year and a half old, and they definitely have to be protected from frost when they're young. Uh, otherwise, you'll lose them. I lost a uh, plumeria last year. And once they're nice and established and a few years old, they seem to do well because I have some neighbors that have big plumeria trees. and. They make it through the frost, and we do get frost every year. All right, here, this artichoke plant that's covered up in its own little makeshift greenhouse, I planted last spring, and it's doing really good. We got two artichokes off of it. Let me open it up and let it get some sun. So it's kind of scrunched up. And some of the leaves did get a little damaged, but the little plastic tub did act like a greenhouse and protect it. And uh, this way I didn't have to cut it back, but that is another option. You could cut them down and heavily mulch them um, and overwinter them that way. And then this one I got in in the fall. And what's interesting, it must really love this spot because it's just about as big as this one that got in in the spring, it actually seems a little bigger. So this one I got in in the fall and we did not get any fruit off of it, but we will certainly this year. So it's a pretty good size. You can see my hand here. And then the leaf is nice large leaf, but this thing is gonna triple in size. And then the artichokes are gonna grow up out of the center. And once you see the choke just starting to open up, the leaves are opening up just a little bit, then it's ready to harvest. And you cut the choke, and then you're gonna want to cut all the way down to the bottom where the stem grew up out of the plant, cut it back all the way down, and then it'll start producing more artichokes out of the other parts of the plant. And here's another plumeria under this frost cloth. And Jet must have found a little lizard. Jet, did you find a friend? Yeah. <laughs> I have a 
bunch more artichokes over here. And they're all covered up. They're gonna stay covered up until probably Wednesday. And another one up here on the hill. So I think this makes a total of eight. I'm gonna go ahead and get them all uncovered and let them get some nice sun and cover them up before the sun goes down. All right. So the growing requirements for an artichoke plant is lots of sun, a sunny location. Artichokes grow in California and we get lots of sun in California. And this particular plant here is on our hill and it, it gets uh, very hot in this location. It gets full sun, so all the way from I'd say nine in the morning to sundown. And it does see the intense heat, which is a hundred plus at some times. The second growing requirement is well-drained soil. They don't want to sit in really soggy water. This dirt here is a combination of sand and decomposed granite, but it definitely lacks nutrients. So we have to add lots of organic matter. And that's the third growing requirement for artichoke plants. Um, adding lots of compost. They want to be fed quite a bit, so lots of organic matter. I added lots of compost when I got this guy in here, and I also amended the soil um, with nitrogen as well, some organic blood meal. They have all of these big, impressive leaves that they grow, so nitrogen is great for that. All right, so you have the organic matter, and then the fourth one is nitrogen, and the fifth is even watering. Like I mentioned before, they don't want to sit in soggy soil, but they also don't want to get too dry, and that's easy to do in California with our intense heat. So you can see that I have the soaker hoses wrapped around at the base of the plant so it gets some water seeping through um, this time of year just twice a week and really be fine at once a week but once a week it gets a nice deep water so really that's it they're very easy to grow as long as they have the right conditions and what i've also found and i don't have this particular plant mulched but the other ones that um, I visited earlier in the video I was we were getting some cold weather and I really um, heavily mulched them with some compost and some wood chips and they really loved it so when you're planting and you'll see in the video that I'm going to attach next I'm pointing to the base of the plant when I'm planting it so just the top, very start of the plant coming out of the dirt. And I'm pointing to that to point out that it's important when you're planting your artichoke plant in the ground that you keep the crown um, clear. You don't, when you're planting it, you don't put a lot of dirt on top of that. You wanna plant it at the level um, that the plant grew in, in your start container. But, once the plant is growing and is established, they really seem to like mulching them up pretty good. So you can't really see it now, but under here is just a ton of wood chips and there's a bunch of compost. And I added a bunch and left the leaves to come out of it and it really loved it. And this guy grew really, really big. It's ahead of the rest. So my conclusion is they really like to be mulched. All right, so now I'm gonna go and get the seeds planted and I'll probably just add two more artichoke plants. That's gonna make 10, it's quite a few, but we love artichokes so they won't go to waste. 